she a grief? So for though, for though, in 1642, Charles I of England and his parliament disagreed about how the country should be run. And this kick started just a little matter called the English Civil War. Charles's son, James, was in the thick of all this. And in the year 1648, he was forced to escape from the palace. He actually had to disguise himself as a woman. But it was a lucky thing he did too, because shortly after that, his dad, Charles I, was executed. Even more for though, for though, in 1532, Henry VIII had split from the Roman Catholic Church and he'd started his very own church, the Church of England. From then on, religion was yet another type of conquest. It was another type of forced Anglicisation, which English monarchs attempted in Ireland. But in 1685, James II, our SKP, succeeded to the throne of England and he was a Catholic. So you'd think this would be great news for Ireland. And originally it did look that way. James II attempted to give civic equality to Roman Catholics. But unfortunately, this led to serious conflict with the English Parliament. In 1689, he was dethroned by the English Parliament in favour of the Protestant William of Orange and his wife Mary. This conflict between Catholic and Protestant power in England played out on Irish soil. So in March 1689, King James II deposed, landed in Kinsale, where, with French and Irish support, he raised an army. On the 14th of June 1690, the Protestant King of England, William of Orange, arrived with 300 ships in Belfast Loch, carrying nearly 31,000 men. So a manuscript from around that time has an air entitled King James's March to Dublin. It's possible that this air was played as James and his new army marched to Dublin to do battle with the Protestant King of England, William of Orange. Interestingly, this slow air is commonly called Queen of Limney or Limerick's, Limerick's Lamentation amongst Irish traditional musicians. And to tell you the truth, Reading the rest of what happened in this battle, it's kind of obvious why it has that name. William conquered James's French and Irish troops at the Battle of the Boyne. James fled from the battlefield and he sailed from Waterford to France, leaving his Catholic supporters to their fate. The Irish troops, under the leadership of Sarsfield, managed to hold out west of the Shannon. However, on the 12th of July, 1691, the two forces met at Ockram and there was a slaughter. It is estimated that 5,000 to 7,000 people were killed in that one day. That battle was possibly the bloodiest ever fought in the Atlantic archipelago. The remains of that decimated Irish army took refuge within the walls of Limerick, but that is another story. Meanwhile, Here's my version of King James's March to Dublin or Queen Elimney.